Hello, everybody. Welcome to Capoeira Collects uh, series, Discover with Magrinho. My name is Travis, so some of you may know me as Urubu. Today, we're going to be talking about the beating bow. This is a musical musical instrument. If you ever see this out, you know, in public, you might think, is that a bow and arrow? Is it a fishing pole? People have asked me this. No, it's a percussion instrument. And it is comprised of a verga, which is just, you know, a stick, a very solid stick. An arami, which is a metal string. A cabasa, which is a gourd tied, gives it that nice resonant noise, like the hole in a guitar. A baqueta, which is just a stick. A kaishishi, which is a basket filled with, you know, little shells, stones, dried up beans. And then finally, with a dobrão, which is a metal coin. Or a pedro, which is a stone. I actually really like playing with this stone because I have used it so often that it's created this nice little notch to press up against the, the, the arami. So a little background about the beating bow. It is a, as I said, a percussion instrument, but is sometimes considered a garbage instrument. The reason for that is the, uh, the verga, cabasa, you know, they're very common in Brazil. Go to a tree, you know, and, you know, strip the bark off, you know, and create your verga, find, you know, the gourd on the side of the road, string it together to create the basic, the main part of the beating bow. Sticks and rocks, you know, you can find those anywhere. But, and even the arami. This metal wire is considered garbage because, like with this, you can get this from the inside of a car tire. Let me tell you, that was very tedious to get, but hey, I didn't have to pay anything. So, the the purpose of, the original purpose of a beating bow is to call attention. Uh, in old uh, markets, vendors would use them to, you know, instead of just shouting and shouting all day long, they would just get a beating bow and get a nice rhythm going to drum up some business. Capoeira does uses it in a very similar fashion. Capoeira uses it to let people know far and wide, hey, there's a hoda or you know a capoeira circle happening right now. Come and play with us. And because capoeira is you know a martial art that also looks like a dance, you need something to keep the beat. So what you will have is you'll have a bunch of percussion instruments all around with people clapping and singing and playing them. And the, uh, the soloist of the group will have the biggest cabasa called the gunga. And he will be known as the soloist. And the soloist will sing a line and then everybody else repeats it or will sing the chorus depending on the song. Now, there are sim I will go over some of the simple tones and play a little bit for you. So, first what you will do is you'll... Grab the kaishishi in your middle two fingers, and the main basket part will be in your palm. Hold your dobrão, or your pedro, or your stone, little stone, in between your index and your thumb. Next, you will put your pinky underneath this string. Grab the... Sorry, I told you in the wrong hand. You know, you grab the verga, put the stone in between your index finger and thumb right here. And hold the baqueta or the, your stick as if you would a pencil. The cabasa will go firmly against your stomach. And, and from here you can play the three simple tones of the beating bow. There's open. There's buzz. Where you... You know, you just place the stone on the arami to create a nice little buzz tone. And then there's on, where you press it all the way so that you get a higher pitched tone from open. 
and you know, and if you want to control the sound a little bit, if you hold the cabasa away from your stomach, and then if you put it, it muffles it a little bit more. So the most basic, uh, one of the basic rhythms of capoeira is buzz buzz on, off, off, like so. And then you could add flourishes like I just did at the end just to create some more, you know, your own unique style of playing the beating bell. In future videos, I'll go over more of the rhythm, ways to practice the beating bell once you get your own, and even sing some songs with you. Just let me know if you've ever heard of a song that you would like me to go over, or anything like that. Alright? Ciao.